Spielermon, let us know who this next sponsor is going to be. Uh, he... This race will be sponsored by Hugh Jass Gene Company. Let me tell you, chat, Hugh's wife only loves one thing, and that's Hugh Jass. Anyways, chat, and we are off. Let's take a look at this race today. Not too many obstacles really that can take these racers out, except for a large hole at about the quarter point that does retract close as well. It'll be interesting to see how our racers deal with that obstacle. We see May 9K and Token Duelist squeezing through the little gap there. Let's see who takes advantage of it first. May is the first one to be pushed out with Big Smoke in second place. May 9K sliding right through like a clean poop looking very good on his end. Both of them avoiding the potential hole. Oh, and just like that, explosives are on the, the track. I did not notice those in the early going. So far, no one succumbing to the open hole in the middle there. No one falling out so far. We'll keep an eye on that in the future. Still no one dealing with that open hole there. Everyone avoiding it very well, being smart to hold onto the wall. Let's hope that May 9K can keep his momentum going here. He did have a podium spot in the initial race, so let's hope he can keep that momentum up. And just like that, Ooh, it was looking very tight, but everyone has been able to avoid these holes. And just as I say that, I've jinxed our racer today. And as long as nothing drastic happens, Mayor Tsiaras will be our first place finisher being awarded a full 25 points. May 9K. And Big Smoke are fighting for second. And just like that, they... Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it, it seems to be a development on the track. May was not able to get enough momentum to fall through the finish line. He fell just in front of it, and just like that, May has been robbed of his first place finish. And May 9K is the beneficiary, and everyone else has followed suit. No one was able to get enough momentum to fall through the finish line. It, it's sad to see and Ushisu has also fallen out of the race. You hate to see things like this happen, but unfortunately the only racer that was able to finish the race in full is your streamer, May 9K. It sucks to see the house win, but you know what they say, the house does indeed always win let's go on to the second race of the day which is the bongo boogie let's hope some of our other racers can be a little bit better and not fall on their ass and let me remind everyone today's races this one's brought to you by hugh jazz hugh jazz gene company uh he's trying to see your huge ass anyways chat five seconds on the clock any races that are not involved will not be involved until the following race eight currently registered shout out to any and all racers and we see that a few have missed out on their opportunity we may have to add more time on the registration clock but some of y'all don't know how to pay attention anyways chat off uh our racers are punched into the air this is our first main obstacle of the day let's hope that all of our racers can have some sense and not fall into the ground. And just like that, everyone is able to cross that initial threshold. Everyone doing a good job of staying on track, not falling on their ass. This is where things can get a little bit dicey for our racers. Let's hope they can all stay on the track and hit these jumps perfectly. Token Duel is doing a great job of finishing in first place, but Lightning McRonda falling on her ass. That's a lot of pie on her face. Anyways, chat. It's not Sheldon. Let's see if he can do something here. And he finishes in sixth place, netting himself a solid point total. And this is how the cookie crumbles for the second race of the day. <laughs> Jake Terrell with a solid jab at uh, Lightning McRonda. Not very ka for you. I don't know Lightning McRonda. Personally for me, 
I would not take that type of disrespect personally, but that's just who I am as a individual. May 9K getting out to an early lead, but that was because in the first race, no one else was able to finish. You hate to see things like that take place, but you know what? That's just how the cookie crumbles. Lightning McRonda with a jab of her own to Jakey Terrell, Kachow me outside. Not exactly sure what that means, but you know what? We're gonna ride with it. And Jakey, that is a level of disrespect that I don't think you should allow yourself to deal with. Eulogy trying to be nice in chat, trying to uh, soften up all the other racers. Don't know if it's going to work. They can see through your soft words. 10 seconds left on the clock, 10 seconds left to register into this race. Nine racers currently registered to enter in these racers. And we have today a, I should have known that the circuit was going to be a, I should have known. Chat? Oh, I didn't realize my voice changed. That was weird. Sorry about that chat. Don't know why that happened. And just like that, nobody was going to tell me that my mic changed. I'm not a fan of any of you. Anyways, chat. Demon MC. <laughs> As we zoom in on our first place racer, it is Spielermon out in front getting the early lead. Oh, Lightning McRonda in third. Spielermon with his smooth looking icon there, repping the PlayStation hat. I'm sure there's a copyright infringement there somewhere, but it's all good because no one here is going to snitch. Anyways, chat, back to the race. If you remember, chat, this race has been brought to you by Hugh Jass Jean Company, and Hugh is trying to see your Hugh Jass. Anyways, chat, Merit's doing a great job of holding down first place, and it's looking like, unless Jake can do something here, Token following very close behind. It seems as if there's a bit of a collision, and it's going to come down to the finish. Oh, and May doing a great job of holding off the final push. Goodness gracious, chat. That was a tough, tough fought race. So let's sort it by points here. May 9K squeaking out the nice little three points to add to his point total. He finished in six. He was awarded three points. That brings him to a whopping 48. Token not too far behind with 45. Mayertzi finally getting on the point. Mayertzi finally getting on the point total. Uh, board here going from 0 to 25 boosting themselves up to 25 20 points is Jakey Terrell 17 points is Ushisu 9 is Spielerman 7 is Sheldon 2 is Big Smoke Dog and one singular small point being awarded to Lightning McRonda not very lightning of her today Merry Christmas to one and all shout out to Frosty the Snowman very frozen track here, as uh, it is called on thin ice. But you know what? Unfortunately, at some point, whoever the top point man is, they're going to have to let it go. Let it go. Anyway, chat, Lightning McRonda getting out to a very fast lead, taking advantage of the icy terrain. But unfortunately, we have seen this before in the past where Lightning McRonda does a great job of getting out in front only to fall off the track entirely. Big Smoke Dog falling into the lottery drop. Let's hope that he can keep pace. Let's see what happens here. Third place is May 9K. Not into the lottery drop yet, just falling in there just so quickly. Now, this is one of those situations where it is not about uh, speed, but it is about pace and timing. Sheldon being the last one to fall into the uh, lottery drop, but he is right at home not really missing out on too much time here. Like I said before, chat, everything before that lottery drop does not matter sometimes. Anyway, Spielermon, outside of the rubble, finding a way to come out on top here. If someone can take advantage of that middle path, they'll be able to fall out in front. Shout out to Spielermon for supplying us with today's sponsor. May, oh, May 9K, I thought he was able to take advantage of that middle path, but it seems that he missed out on it. And unless anything drastic happens, this is where everything can change. The toilet bowl is what makes the difference. Let's see who can be pooped out first. Let's see who has the most fiber in their diet. Not exactly sure how this is gonna play out here. Big Smoke looking to tease it in May 9K, slipping out like a firm, loose diarrhea. 
netting himself first place points. He is looking to be the high point man today, doing a great job of sliding out before everyone else. Spielermann is getting third, and Big Smoke Dog will be awarded second place. And Ushisu now at this point is just trying to finish for pride. Let's hope that the firewall does not eat her up and get her out of the kitchen. There is an obvious joke there, but I'm not going to make it because I respect women. Anyways, chat, and let me tell you something, chat. I've been requested to provide a close-up to the stream. Now, I don't know if that's something you really wanted, but I'm going to give you that anyway. Minute 10 on the clock. And as we get close, I need you to look at me. I need you to tell me what you desire. I need you to tell me what you need. Don't mind the music, don't think about the race. There is 50 seconds left. Let me remind you, by the way, chat, that this race has been brought to you by Hugh Jazz Gene Company. You've got a Hugh, excuse me. Uh, Hugh wants to see your Hugh Jazz. 10 racers currently registered in today's race. Fifth of six races in this overall Grand Prix. And here we go, falling into the primary toilet bowl. Not exactly sure what this is over here. I hope none of our racers get transported to this race. I'm very confused at why this is still here. It seems like these are some assets that weren't deleted in the file. I'm a little bit scared at what I'm looking at, but uh, let's turn our attention Back to the, back to the main, main race. Excuse me, chat. Sorry, sorry, chat. Whoa, I, I don't know what happened there. I was uh, I sorry, sorry, chat. I just something was calling me. I could hear a voice telling me to come here i i don't i don't know what i was looking at anyway chat let's see if this is a very short race surprisingly today not exactly sure why the path is so short but it's okay because may is taking advantage of that and all they need to do is drop down let's see if they can find the hole it's gonna be a tight one. Oh my goodness and they do find the hole in time not getting gypped by the overall size here because we all know that size does matter. Let's take a look at these point totals. Mayertzi with first getting awarded the full 25. Lightning McRonda in 20, in 20, getting awarded 20 points. Sheldon being awarded 15 in third. Fourth place is Token with five. Fifth place is Mayna K with four. Ushisu, Spieler, Jake, Big Smoke, and Slab <clears throat> rounding out the bottom half of the race. Sheldon subscribing with a prime. Shout out to Sheldon. Thank you so much for that prime sub. You will be able to provide us with a sponsor for the next, um, you will be able to provide our next uh, sponsor for the next Grand Prix that will happen right after this race here. Thank you so much for that uh, prime sub. I love you. No, I don't. Anyways, as we hit the primary Plinko of the day, May 9K zooming down the track, getting an early lead. Man, May 9K does not need to go this hard, but he feels like he needs to send a message to the rest of the pack. That message seems to be, I am an early finisher. Oh my goodness, Token with the unfortunate fall. That's going to hurt his point total. Let's see if that gets in the way of them finishing on the podium. Lightning McRonda and Ushisu also falling off as well. Sometimes, chat, these races are not about speed, but they are about precision. Slab taking the left side path, not as direct as the middle, but still coming out in front. Let's hope that everyone is able to land smoothly on the track. And it looks like Sheldon might have been able to fall in the middle there, but not really coming in with enough speed. Sheldon taking the right side path with the elevator, whereas Spielermann has taken the spiral down to hell. Let's see which one manages to reach the bottom first. Jakey Terrell doing a great job of threading the needle and falling all the way down to the anus. And he is now our high point man, our high lead man uh, in terms of pace. It is now a battle for second place. Big Smoke Dog taking over Jake Terrell. Jake is struggling here with the little half pipe. 
Unfortunately, he is not looking very swell, but Big Smoke is doing a great job of finishing in second place. We did have two people finish in front of the pace getter, which was Deadlock887. Jakey Terrell is struggling right now, people. He has no momentum and it's looking like he might get ate up by the fire in the end. Spielermann overtaking him. It is still now a battle for third. Mayertzi Arras trying to overtake and get past the spinning uh, turnstile. Can't quite do it, so they will be awarded five points in fourth place. Jakey Terrell, let's check in with him. Not exactly sure why he is struggling so much in this half pipe. Finally finding a way to figure it out getting some positive forward momentum, but it is a little bit too late. Uh, if you remember that old pop song of the early 2000s, it's just too little too late. Jakey Terrell falling into fifth place, but will be awarded a four point point total. For third place is Mayor Tsiaras. Though they did have some mishaps in some of these races, they did a great job of staying the course and finishing in third place. Second place being awarded to Token Duelist. Uh, good job on them as well for staying the course. Solid work from Token Duelist. And first place, we all knew what it was. We all knew where it was gonna go. Everybody knew who the big boy of the stream was you already know it's your boy i don't even need to look at it may nine kizzle for shizzle my nizzle